G'day guys, today I'm just going to be installing a Fomoto oil drain valve and what this is is a replacement for your oil sump plug. It's basically as described, it's a valve, spring loaded so it doesn't rattle loose. It also comes with a plastic clip and the next time you want to do an oil change you simply open the valve, drain the oil, close the valve. What this means is it's quicker, it's cleaner, you're more likely to do it because it's easier. You can do a partial drain if you've filled up too much, you can open the valve for half a second and close it. There are different variants available. You can attach hoses and tubes to it so you can angle your oil out from underneath the car. If you have hard access under the car, you can have a hose that angles out and then you drain the oil separately. Now the best thing about this is you put it in once and you forget about it. You don't have to buy any more crush washers. You don't have to worry about torque settings or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go through the install of one of these. The install is pretty easy. Alright guys, just on the website here just to give you an idea of what is available. So you've got the SX series, now that has a rotatable outlet so you can point it in the direction that you want to clear oil drain pans that might have a recess like is shown here. Then on the other end of that we've got the standard ones or the original valves. This is what I'll be installing today because my oil sump has a pretty standard sort of fitting and there's heaps of different variants. I've got the S series and the N series, but I'll be installing the S series today. So there are different designs. I've got two here. This is the F106N. This is an F106S. Difference being the shorter nipple here. So I'm gonna put this on the Lancer because it's lower to the ground and I don't have any troubles with accessing it. So this fiber washer comes with it, so we will be using that. We screw it up hand tight and then grabbing the body, not this hex shape here, the body, we turn it a further one eighth to one quarter turns as per the instructions like you can see here. This clip here is a peace of mind thing just in case people are worried about this valve from opening accidentally. Now that is spring loaded so you do have to push up and turn but the plastic clip just stops this from accidentally opening. So that's basically all there is to it. Oil flows, close it off, put your clip in, and then you're done. So I've timed it as much as I can by hand. Now, as per the instructions, we go one eighth to one quarter of a turn extra. So if we think of it as a clock, obviously it's pointing at the 15, so at the 30 would be a quarter. So we kind of just want it in between. Awkwardly positioned with this exhaust here to get tools on it. And we can't grab this hex bit. We have to grab the body. So. Okay, so that is just under a quarter of a turn. A quarter would be straight down. And we had it pointing roughly over here before. So I think that's between one eighth and one quarter. All we're trying to do is compress that fiber washer. Make sure your valve is closed again. So now we top up the oil and we go for a drive. Then we come back and see if there's any leaks around. So I've overlaid the original footage from hand tightening and reduced the opacity so you can see both positions. And I've drawn in the angle through there and it tells me it's 45, which is one eighth of a turn. But also the camera's slightly off axis. So I think it might be a little bit more than 45 degrees. All right, that's it for the Fomoto valve, pretty easy. You see 45 degrees there, it's not a lot, but you'll feel it, it is really tight. If you went to a quarter, uh, you'd really have to sort of yank on it. Been for a drive around, no oil leaks, so that's all good. Worth considering. Thanks for watching.